This video is about how to configure Commando Air 1 AP1800AX Wi-Fi 6 indoor access point which enable communication with, between wireless users with a speed up to 1800 Mbps with advanced Wi-Fi 6 technology. So let's start how to do it. Connect the power supply to the device and the LAN port to the PC or laptop. Change the adapter options. Go to TCP IP property and use the following IP address like 192.168.2. From 2 to 254 any IP address. Let us say I take 10. Subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and default gateway is 192.168.2.1. So after setting this, open the web page. And give the IP address 192.168.2.1 to take the access of Commando Air 1 AP1800AX. The password is Commando by default which can be changed as per user's setting. This is how to log out from the device. This is the log out button, red button. You can modify the password by clicking here. Old password is commando and new password you can set according to your will. You can confirm the password. Next time this password will be asked when you log out from the device. And this button is to device review. So there are a lot of uh, uh, home page, wizard, Wi-Fi, network and manage. In home page, you can see the flow 2G, uh, AP upstream and downstream is shown. I will connect one of the user to this uh, device. Let us say I want to connect to uh, Commando AX1800 which is a default SSID which I have already having in the device by default. You can change this SSID as per will. So if I want to connect, so now this will be shown here. So now one is connected. I will connect one more to 5G so that uh, you can get the, uh, how quickly you can set up a connection to this AP. So I will connect to 5G and now in 5G one uh, device is connected. So in the home page, the default mode is AP mode, which is shown and uh, the device info like CPU, memory, you can set the location setting. Let us say I am having USA as a location. I can set that. You can have the LAN info by default. This is a LAN connection static IP and subnet mask and gateway and the connected uh, AP SSIDs, which this is all can be changed as per user. Uh, uh, requirement this is auto I have said so it will change as per the uh, as per the conditions of your surroundings so in wizard button you can uh, go for two modes gateway mode where you can connect to any of the router or a switch which is a gateway to the your AP and AP mode current mode is AP mode and this is the default mode static IP address. You can take the IP address from the AC or from the gateway. Next, you can set the SSID as per will. Right now, these are the default SSID which I can change as per my will. I can change the mode to 11NGHT20, 11NGHT40. So this is backward compatible for Wi-Fi 5, Wi-Fi 4, Wi-Fi 3. We can have the channel settings also for this and by default password we can change. We can change this uh, WPA3 or WPA2 settings as per requirement. Next, we can change this SSID. Let us say I want uh, this uh, commando as a SSID or commando IT as a SSID. I can change this mode also channel let us say I want 52 
and password i want commando uh, commando at the rate 1 2 3 reboot time nothing and next so device will reboot after changing the ssid and we can connect to uh, this device by the renewed uh, SSID name or Wi-Fi name or the password name. So let us say I want to connect to the this device. It will take some time for rebooting after changing to the wizard mode. So we will connect to one of the devices. So in AP mode, you can connect as many as 120 users at a time. So these users can access the uh, access point and transfer your existing network from uh, wired device to wireless device that to the extent uh, Wi-Fi 6 enabled device. So I will log in to and I will connect one of the users to this. Currently there is no user. Password I have changed. Come on to IT. I will connect one user by my mobile. So now the new SSID I am having for 5G this is a my new SSID and I am you selected the channel number uh, 52 and it is not auto setting I have analyzed my conditions by Wi-Fi analyzer and set the new and this device is connected in wizard we also have the gateway mode in gateway mode all Ethernet are bridged together so you can have uh, static DSCP, PPP, OE and all wireless client will connect the ISP access point or router or a switch connecting directly to the internet via WAN port. NAT is enabled and PCs or laptop in the Ethernet LAN share the same IP to ISP through wireless LAN. So you can have DSCP, you can change the Wi-Fi name as per will, you can change the channels. You can change the encryption mode to WPA2 or WPA3. None means there will be no password set for this device. Password also can be changed. For uh, 5G, we can change the 5G SSID or Wi-Fi name and can change the password. Reboot time we can disable and we can have the gateway mode. Then in Wi-Fi tab, we can have this uh, beautiful tool called as Wi-Fi Inbuilt Analyzer where we can analyze the interfering channel to this uh, AP's uh, channel. So it will automatically calculate if, it, if this AP is in the auto mode, this will be uh, selecting the less congested channels. These are the channel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, up to 11. And in 5G also we are having the Wi-Fi analyzer for 5G also for this uh, band and we can uh, analyze accordingly we see 108, 112 and uh, 116, 120 are free channel. We can set uh, the from auto mode to the manual mode we can set these channels. We can change the SSID name, we can change uh, this mode if I select 80 means more bandwidth can be used. I can also enable the VLAN. We can also enable multiple uh, uh, SSID. So this SSID I can enable and encryption mode. So I will have multiple SSIDs for 5G or uh, multiple SSIDs for uh, 2G band. So I will have let us say commando IT department, commando sales department, commando um, uh, developers department to have their own SSIDs with the same device we can maximum have 4 SSID in 2G band and five, uh, 4 SSID in 5G band. In advanced setting we can change the country location. 
सो चाइना यू एस ए यू ए इंडिया ब्राजील वी कैन चेंज बाई डिफॉल्ट यू एस ए इज देयर यूजर आइसोलेशन ऑन वी कैन शॉर्ट जी आई ऑन ऑफ वी कैन कवरेज थ्री शोल्ड चेंजिंग सो इट विल हैव मोर सेंसिटिविटी पैकेट थ्री शोल्ड आर टी एस डी एफ एस डायनेमिक फ्रिक्वेंसी सिलेक्शन ऑन और ऑफ एज पर यूजर चॉइस वी कैन ऑल्सो हैव द मैक ए सी एल सो वी कैन डिसेबल सम यूजर्स फॉर हैविंग द एक्सेस मार्क एज डीनाय सो सिक्यूरिटी फीचर इज ऑल्सो सेट आफ्टर डूइंग दिस वी हैव टू डीना एक्सेस लाइक दिस एंड दिस एक्सेस विल बी डिनाइड फॉर दिस यूजर वी कैन हैव द वाई फाई टाइमर्स ऑल्सो सो दिस इज अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल फीचर वेर यू कैन इन्श्योर द सिक्यूरिटी ऑफ युअर एंटायर वाई फाई एक्सेस फॉर पर्टिक्युलर टाइम रेंज सो माय ऑफिस टाइम इज टेन टू फाइव सो आई विल सिलेक्ट फ्रॉम टेन टू सेवेंटीन so after that this wifi will not be available to any of the user so that way we can have the wifi timer also for this device we can have the lan ip change this is the lan ip which i used to have the access of this device and from ac also and from gateway also we can take this lan ip we can connect this to the cloud also and we can configure the we can have the restore to we can upload some file we can take the backup of the file we can reset to factory default we can have the time reboots so this will help you to uh, uh, mitigate any threats or unauthorized usage for particular days let us say if i do uh, restart interval also i can set for 7 days these days we can also upgrade or reset to default we can also have the time management this is a very beautiful thing sync with the host so right now time will automatically sync or i will take the time if i am having the internet connected to this ap i can fetch the time from the universal clock like this these are the universal clock i can see the logs if i enable it or if i i can have the remote login server to check the log of this device i can import export everything of the logs from this device so as such this commando device is having features which are unparallel to any of the wifi 6 generally wifi 6 only allow wifi 6 clients to be connected but this device can connect any of the client and provide the wifi access including all wifi 6 based devices it uses seamless roaming and ofdm 1024 qam technology and it supports wifi client distance more than 91 meters so this is a very powerful device supporting ieee 802.1 ax ac b g and n with backward compatibility with wireless clients of 2.5 gigahertz band as well as 5 gigahertz dual band and it emits the radio with power up to 300 mega milliwatt thank